Back in the Stone Ages, before the time of social media and texting, writing was almost exclusively limited to formal purposes such as academics and professional occasions. This created an inherently formal tone because writing was limited to formal occasions. Fast forward to the advent of writing for personal reasons through social media and texting, and we now see people writing for personal reasons with a more informal tone. This has led to some confusion when it comes to differentiating between writing for professional purposes and writing for personal purposes. Each of these requires a different tone or type of voice. In this video, we will begin our discussion of what constitutes professional communication and why it's important to separate professional and personal tones in communication. To begin, let's discuss what we mean when we say professionalism. Professionalism is the conduct, aims, or qualities that characterize or mark a profession or a professional person. Simple enough, right? Yes, but also a little bit generic. Let's break this down a bit further by examining the individual qualities of professionalism. Professionalism begins with competence. In other words, a professional should be well-versed in their field. Others should be able to depend on their knowledge in that area. Professionalism also involves a high degree of ethics. A professional should be seen as honest, truthful, and fair. A professional should demonstrate effective communication skills. They should speak and write clearly, but also be excellent listeners and be able to interpret the meaning of others effectively. Professionals must be reliable. They can be counted on to have their work completed properly and in a timely fashion. You can depend on them to do what they say they will do and be where they say they will be. Appearance is another important quality of professionalism. While what constitutes appropriate dress and appearance will vary between professions, cultures, and individuals, it is important to look the part for your specific field. Professionalism also involves the demonstration of appropriate social skills. This does not mean that you have to be best friends with everyone you meet. However, professionals should be able to interact with colleagues and clients comfortably and show basic understanding that other people exist. This all sounds like quite a bit of work, doesn't it? So what do we gain from demonstrating effective professional communication skills? Let's take a look at a few ways that this effort has value to us. First, professional communication influences how you see yourself and how you see others. It's hard for others to take you seriously if you don't take yourself seriously. When we write, speak, and generally communicate like professionals, we begin to see ourselves as professionals, and others begin to see us that way as well. Professional communication is also an important element of impression management. It helps us establish the kind of presence and personality that we seek to create in our professional lives. It also impacts the impression that people have of the organization that we represent. Finally, communicating professionally is a highly desired skill for employers. Employers want people working for them who can communicate effectively with their colleagues and with their clients. In no small part, this means understanding the difference between personal and professional communication and being able to apply that difference in the appropriate context. Now that we have a sense of the elements and importance of professional communication, let's take a brief look at the different forms of communication. Intrapersonal communication is communication that takes place within an individual. All of us talk to ourselves on a near constant basis. Sometimes these conversations take place out loud, and other times they happen only in our minds. Regardless, this internal dialogue is a significant communication exchange, and it behooves us not to overlook it. Interpersonal communication takes place between two people within the context of a relationship. This could be a romantic relationship, friendship, family relationship, 
or even a relationship, romantic or plutonic, within the workplace. These relationships are a critical part of the fabric of our lives. As such, taking care to communicate effectively within these contexts is crucially important. Group communication occurs when at least three people are pursuing a common goal. We've all likely had a small group experience that was less than ideal. Nevertheless, studies show that group work is regularly superior and more efficient to that of individuals in many circumstances. Working in groups is not likely to go away, so we should make every effort to enhance our ability to function well in these environments. Public communication typically involves one person speaking to a larger group of people. While many people dread the prospect of speaking in public, it's actually one of the more straightforward forms of communication, with clearly defined rules, methodologies, and expectations. Finally, mass communication involves a person, group of people, or an organization attempting to send a message to the broadest audience possible. We see mass communication at work in things like television, radio, newspapers, podcasts, social media, and frequently the internet at large. Regardless of the form, communication is a powerful tool and carries with it the responsibility to use that tool wisely. Let's examine some of the basic responsibilities involved in professional communication. First, professional communicators have a responsibility to be prepared. This preparation involves and allows a communicator to be organized, clear, concise, and punctual. Professional communicators should also strive to be ethical. This means that you should treat people equitably, be respectful, and be someone worthy of trust. Finally, to communicate in a professional manner means employing the golden rule. In other words, we should treat others as we expect them to treat us. Now that we have the basics of professional communication in hand, we are ready to expand our communication skill set and develop the tools that will set us apart in the workplace. Congratulations!